Today I'm gonna give you some basic intuition of work and energy and how they are connected. I have a heavy object sitting on my table. I want to move it from location A to location B, which is exactly 30 centimeter apart. So how can I do that? How can I move this heavy object from location A to location B? Well, there is a way. If I can somehow apply some energy on this object, then this will move. But how can I do this? Well, I have lots of energy. But how I can transfer my energy to this box? Well, that's a good question. I can do it by applying force. If I apply force on this body, then I would be able to transfer the energy from my body to this box and would be able to move this from location A to location B. Well, now the next question is whose direction should I apply the force in order to transfer the energy? I have four directions. I have right, I have left, I have up, and I have down. Which direction should I apply the force? Well, I need to apply force to the right direction because I want to move this box from here to the right. But right direction at what angle? Do I have to apply forces at zero degree angle with respect to the table? 30 degree angle with respect to the table? 45 degree angle or 90 degree angle? Well, if I do apply force zero degree with respect to the table, then I would be able to maximize the displacement. So the ruler is zero degree with respect to the table. So let's do that. I was able to move this body from A to B 30 centimeter away. Now I should be able to explain it. And I should be able to explain it mathematically. Let's see what I did. I saw that energy transfer by force. And what do we call it? Work done. Work done. By that force. Okay. So I can write work done. I can write just W. And I can write force because I apply force to transfer energy force and there was a displacement so this is a displacement vector at the direction of the force this is the force vector so I see the force vector and the displacement vector are parallel to each other okay so the force and the displacement so what is the relation so there is the box there is the box I apply the I apply the force relation between these two vector well they are parallel to each other so then I have to write parallel I can use the trigonometry to do that so I can write F cosine theta D or simply F D cosine theta kinematics you have the V is V final square is equal to V initial square plus 2 A D all right, one of the kinematics formula is V F square is equal to V A square plus 280, which you proved before. Now we're going to get to use this one to prove the work energy theorem. Good. Now we're going to isolate A D for a good reason. So now we're going to write V F square minus V I square, okay, over 2 is equal to A D. All right, now what are you going to do? and A. Uh, let's start with FD. All right, work is FD. So work, work is FD. Work is FD. All right, and F equal M, and let's write it over here, okay? Let's write it over there on the side. And cosine theta, of course. Let's use the theta is equal to zero, so cosine theta is one. So work is F D. 
the rather energy is empty and we're gonna prove that this is this is equal to work all right all right so what is F F is equal to M A D now what is AD we already have AD over here and AD is VF is squared minus VI is squared over 2 you're going to distribute M so let's see what happened when you distribute M so M VF is squared minus M VI is squared over 2 now you're going to you can rewrite this statement E is equal to M VF is squared over 2 minus M VI is squared over 2 you can keep rewriting it uh, half m v f square minus half m v i square. Now this is something looks familiar to you. You've seen it before. All right. So what is it? Half m v final square. So that is kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial. Alright, so what do we see? We see that the work is equal to work is equal to energy. So then work is equal to energy is delta K E. Alright, neat. Now we're gonna get to solve some problem with this. Okay. So let's say a four kilogram object. A four kilogram object uh, sitting here and then uh, uh, you apply some force let's say f applied force is 50 Newton and let's say there is a kinetic friction which is I don't know 30 Newton and and you want to find the net force on this box network on the box all right so to find the network on the box what do you want to do let's see Let's find the work done by applied force. So work done by applied force is F D. Cosine theta, uh, of course. So F is how much? Let's see. 50. D is, it moves, let's say, 10 meters. From location A to location B is 10 meters. So, 10 cosine 0 degree. So, you have how much? 500 joule. Alright, so far so good. Now, you want to find the work done by friction. Work done by friction. So, work done by friction is how much? F D cosine theta. Now, F is of course 30, D is of course 10, and cosine theta is negative is 180. So this is negative 300 joule. Now we're going to find work done by gravity. Work done by gravity is F D cosine theta. Now what is F? F is mg, m is 4, g is 9.8, cosine theta is cosine uh, 90 degree because this one, um, one second, F is, uh, F is mg d cosine theta so m is 4 g is 9.8 d is 10 and cosine 90 degree cosine 90 degree is 0 so work done by gravity is 0 good now work done by normal force you're going to see also 0 work done by normal force is also zero because the relationship between the displacement and force is perpendicular when the relationship between the displacement which is this direction 
and the force which is this direction perpendicular then is cosine 90 degree then work done is zero so what is the net work work net is equal to work done by applied force plus work done by kinetic energy plus work done by gravity plus work done by normal force so work done by applied force is 500 joule minus 300 joule plus zero joule plus zero joule so 200 joule we have ke is equal to half mv square so ke is how much ke is uh, i, I, I want to move it up So I want to move it up. So Ke is half mb square. So Ke is uh, 200 joule is equal to half m is 4 b square. So 2 goes to 4 twice. Now 200 is equal to 2 b square. All right. So now I can divide both sides by 2. So 100 is equal to v square. So v is equal to 10 meter per second. 